Hi, good afternoon and welcome everyone. Today we are going to be studying lecture number 41 called Dense of the Dervishes and Transmutation of Cosmic Forces. The objective of this lecture is to give the guide of some practical tools to optimize the esoteric work. So let's start by explaining who the Dervishes are. The Dervishes are masters from Turkey who live in the desert. There are singing dervishes and there are dancing dervishes. The singing dervishes teach through songs and music the consciousness processes. And the dancing dervishes teach through dance how the body can be in harmony with the universe through certain movements or runes. With those movements, we mobilize some forces that are very useful to be able to achieve concentration, which is a great, great power that allows us to do everything perfectly. So, these dances are intended for us to be able to achieve concentration. We must do them before any practice to be successful. For example, before the practice of astral unfolding or meditation, um, if you want to get good results in any practice, you must uh, first harmonize the physical body with the interior part. And you can achieve this with these dances. So, here's the first dance. You are going to open your arms so that they are straight and perpendicular to the trunk. Then you are going to start rotating in the way of the clock hands. This practice is very useful because it discharges the liver, the solar plexus, uh, and the emotional zone. In addition, it organizes and puts the seven chakras to rotate correctly in the, in the direction of the clock hands. Unfortunately, the mismanagement of energy causes the chakras to be rotating in the opposite direction. This exercise aligns and coordinates the three brains and produces a vibratory phenomenon. You have to practice it every day. A minimum of 21 laps must uh, be given. When we finish the laps, we're going to send the right foot forward, flexing it a little. And we are going to put the left arm on the right knee. And with the right hand, we are going to press between the eyebrows so that there is no dizziness. If you do it for eight days in a row, you will realize that you no longer feel dizzy or if you feel it's very little. That's, um, that's because the liver is being discharged, uh, which will allow us uh, to have a better astral unfolding. So here's the video so you can see how it's done. Well, the second dance is for making the mind quiet. Most of the people work all day and have a lot to worry about. Those worries do not let you focus when you go to meditate or astral unfold or to do any other practice. If we are intellectual, and we are, we are in, in an office all day sitting, it is necessary that we balance a little to advance in the inner work. So this dance is recommended to do it for five or 10 minutes. This dance coordinates the three brains. First, it quiets the intellectual brain and the best way to quiet the intellectual brain is not thinking and also puts with the spirit that is required to be able to start any practice to the emotional brain. And it also balances the motor brain. This exercise is very simple and is done like this. We start jogging in the same place and at the same time we begin to clap in front and behind the body. While doing so, we are going to turn the head at the same time from side to side. That's the whole exercise. While doing this exercise, you cannot think because no thought is held there. Then the balancing, pro balancing process begins to take place. If we do this exercise for 5 to 10 minutes before any practice, we will gain the capacity to have a much higher level of concentration. So here's the video so you can see it. Well, the third dance 
um, is done like this. We begin jogging um, in the same place. This time we begin to clap to the left side of our head while turning our head to the right side. Then we clap to the right side and turn our head to the left side. It is very simple, but you have to practice it until getting a perfect coordination. The important thing is to coordinate the three uh, things. Head movements, arm movements, back and forth or to the sides, and the legs movements. Um, the breathing is also coordinated. When you already have enough practice, it's going to be very easy. Remember that the practice makes a master. So here's a video so you can uh, see how it's done. Well, now let's talk about the transmutation of cosmic forces. The transmutation of cosmic forces is a work that we most do consciously. This work is done uh, among the planet Earth, the microcosm man, and the Sirius sun. We need to know that planet Earth also has its own sun within. This sun is called Melchizedek, the interior sun of the Earth. We have also a sun located in our heart called Nos Eidom, and in the Sirius Sun, we find the army of the boys. From it comes all the energy that sustains the creation. Before starting it, we must do the dance of the dervishes to be able to have enough concentration. When we do this work, we earn Dharma because we are consciously helping the planet to transmit. Dharma is reflected in the strength that get by participating in this work. We do this work by invoking our being because for our being there is no space, there is no time. Uh, we are going to sit with the palms of our hands facing up. We are going that our tools are the uh, vortices of reception and transmission of cosmic energy. So the work consists of transferring energy from planet Earth to the heart then move it up to the Sirius Sun, then lower it back down to our heart and finally deliver that cosmic energy to planet Earth. So we bring um, energy to Sirius Sun and then we bring energy from Sirius Sun to planet Earth. We exhale it on planet Earth, expelling all the air from our lungs. This can be done sitting or standing, it doesn't matter. At the end of the transmutation, we are charged with a lot of energy to practice as for unfolding, meditation, whatever. It is, a, it is a very special energy. The more we do it, the better we feel, and the better we can concentrate to do the practices. Energy can be imagined as um, silvery gray color, and at the least expected moment, we begin to see it. We are going to see the stream of energy that is running through us while doing the practice. To do the work of transmutation, we have to make five horizontal eights equal to the infinity symbol, as you can see here. The first eight below in the center of the earth, the second eight at the level of the heart, the third uh, eight in the Sirius Sun, the fourth eight at the level of the heart again, and the fifth eight finally again on planet Earth. Well, the practice is as follows. We start uh, inhaling and with the imagination we collect energy from the center of planet Earth, making the first eight. Then we ascend to the heart. We make the second eight at the height of the heart. And retaining the air, we live uh, through the crown of the head and go towards Sirius. We imagine Sirius. There, we make the third eight. Then we go down to our heart, penetrating through the crown of the head. There, we make the fourth eight. Leaving the heart, we exhale, sending, to, sending towards the earth all the energy we bring, imagining that we discharge um, that energy in the center of the planet. And then we do the fifth eight. 
then we repeat it again. We can make this practice as long as we want. The conditions to do this transmutation exercise are uh, being barefoot in a quiet place. If possible, um, we have to be in contact with the earth, with the ground. If, it's, uh, if it is not possible, then we must not be on materials that insulate, like tidal floors or carpets. Well, this has been uh, the lecture for today. Thank you all for being here. Um, see you in the next... Uh